Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Today's Play uh, Micromages by Morph Cat Games. This game was part of Igeo's bundle for racial justice and equality. I'm DeValiente and I'm playing with my friend Bon, whose channel you can follow in the link in the description below. The following features fa ooh, the following features violence, flashing animation, and strong language. Discretion is advised. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's get started. Um, streams, uh, streams could probably be something we do, uh, where we just play wherever the fuck we want. Yeah. Right, cause, like, your channel right now is very much dedicated to getting through the Humble Bundle right now. Yeah. So streams can be just like, alright, free Starting from May 28th, I'm going to be streaming Saturday mornings. Mm-hmm. Um... But more of, like, the the smaller game titles. Like, the ones that I don't necessarily want to edit. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, the one that I played the other day, which was Sagebrush, which was about a, uh, a girl reliving her days in a cult. Um, that one, I actually really enjoyed. <sighs> Why am I yawning? Um, but... It didn't record properly. I've been having this huge problem with OBS not recording all the way. Really? Yeah. And so it's like that's one of the reasons why I uninstalled it and reinstalled it because it was also doing that really laggy recording stuff that I was like, this is nonsense and it's driving me crazy because it's like it's ruining recordings of things that I'm like actually really enjoying. Like the, um, after this week, uh, after Pikaniku this week, uh, the week after is uh, Far From Noise, which is actually a really interesting, like, existential quandary kind of game. And um, the thing is, my audio sounds fine, but the video looks really bad. Oh, it's the same situation as that uh, horror game? The hollow head, yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, like, with hollow head, when it was doing that, when I, as I was editing, I didn't think twice about that. Mm -hmm. Because OpenShot did that to me a lot. Where it would, um... Uh, it wouldn't show me how it really was. Like, it, it would just be, the playback would be really choppy. Yeah. So it's like, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought that for whatever reason, the editing software was being crap. And, but with, um, but with Far From Noise, I would, like, I remembered you saying that about Hollowhead and I'm like, okay, so it's doing this. So I got to make sure that this isn't the video editing software and this is actually the recording itself. Mm -hmm. So I played the video and of course... It was really laggy, and I'm like, this is nonsense. Why is it doing this? It's supposed to be the best. And, like, this is what the professionals use. Why is it being stupid? So. Well, now I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, wondering so, if I so should far, stop. No, so far, the Micromages ones have been fine. Hmm. But I, and the thing is, both the Hollowhead and Far From Noise are low poly games. Oh, interesting. Maybe you have to adjust the settings on OBS for lower poly games. Yeah, it's p possible. The thing is, like, with all these, like, 8 bit games that we've been playing, yeah. Fine. Perfectly fine. Hmm. But it's like, it's not like they're high graphics, they're... And like, it didn't do that with, um... Did you watch, uh, Wide Ocean Big Jacket? No. Okay, uh, that one's actually cute, you might like that one. Um... But... I think I gave that one five stars, but that was like, when I realized that I should probably reconsider how I'm rating the games. Mm-hmm. Because it's like it didn't feel like a five star game, but it got five stars in my in all the categories. Ah. So I'm like, huh, I should really rethink my rating system. <laughs> um so I have since rethought my rating system. 
So, uh, and now my reviews are a lot shorter, which is great for me because I don't like writing the reviews anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's like your least favorite part. It's not my least favorite part is editing, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it's writing the review that is just like I don't like thinking about stuff that I've that I'm done with, you know? Yeah. It's like I've played the game; it's time to move on, but I can't because I'll... I have to go back and think about it and how I actually felt about the game to write a review for it. <laughs> opposite of me and the last of us yeah i'm just like i'm gonna think about this constantly yeah and, and i'm gonna be happy when i think about the first game and i'm gonna be so mad when i think about the second <laughs> one yeah yeah well, i think like i have that i think i have that mindset because i have so many games to get through mm. and i'm just like i can't i can't devote any more time to this and I'm just like, I need to do something else with my life, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, and okay, so the killer in all of this is that last week, um, I was exposed to COVID. You know this. Yes. But I did not get COVID. Good. Which was great. Um, however, uh... I in uh I had canceled on all my clients saying, "Hey, I've been exposed to COVID. I don't feel comfortable seeing people in person. So I'm just going to keep my distance." And uh what really sucked is I didn't get paid that week. Yeah. So, <laughs> um but I uh I was like, "You know what? I'm going to do something productive with this." <gasps> Oh my god! Yeah! Fucking finally! Now we're in the second tower with no lag. Wait, what was the code? Six four. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't see it. Ah. I'll, I'll see it when we um, when I edit and I'll write it down. Yeah. But yeah, I took the time. Like I took the week, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be productive. I'm gonna make it a big recording week. Uh, I'm just gonna have fun. And do you want to know what I did? Nothing. I played Minecraft for like 14 hours every single day. Listen, you need to relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I did with my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I have Margot's mansion on our Minecraft world. And then, um, I feel like I went, uh, oh, oh, yeah, and I couldn't get on to Realms at mm. all for, like, the first couple of days of the week. Like, Realms would just not load for me, so I couldn't even access our world. Oh, weird. To get, yeah, to get into it. So I started a completely new single-player world, and, um, bye. What else was I gonna do in that scenario? I don't. Six four one one. Six four one one. Yeah. Yeah, and I. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Do you see that? Yeah. No, I was sneezing. <laughs> I I died and my body fell into the feather and I came back to life. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened with the fairy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh Yeah, so I started a whole new single player world and I just started building like it, it was in uh survival too which um can be fun but it's just like i wanted to share this world with y'all but i couldn't get into realm <laughs> <laughs> and i was so mad because it's like i and the thing with realms is i don't really want to um 
start a new world because I'm afraid that it'll like it won't I don't think it'll lose Stephanie's world but uh it'll mean that we can't uh we can't access Stephanie's world until I switch it back to Stephanie's world well, which is dumb um yeah oh uh, that was right was, there yeah But yeah, I feel like maybe we're getting a little tired of this world anyway. Or at least I am. I just haven't but, played. Yeah, and I know uh, EB has been playing Inquisition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like hardcore. Like, she was off right yesterday. And yeah. like every like five minutes I would see Evie's playing <laughs> Inquisition. She's uh, playing an Inquisitor version of her Warden from Origins. Oh. I have seven views on episode five of Pikaniku. Woo! Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm glad those are getting more traction. Because, yeah, probably because Pikaniku is like a more popular game. Well... Then people can start watching the other ones. Wee. Yeah. Except some of them I probably need to redo down the line because uh, my audio is nuts. I have to say, even with Piku Niku, your audio is very quiet. I have to turn my iPad volume all the way up to max. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that because in OBS, it's all the way up. It must be... I guess it's related to the mic. I don't... I don't know... If I did Pikaniku with the snowball. I don't remember when I got the snowball. Oh, I didn't know you... I know you were talking about it. Last time we recorded, you were talking it. about it. I'm on it right now. Oh. Uh, are you... Do you have it on a mount, by the way? Yeah, it's on a mount. Okay, good. Yeah, um... Yeah. Well, actually, it's on this little stand. It's not on a thing that I move it back and forth. Mm. But I don't think I had Pikaniku. Or I don't think I had the snowball when I was recording Pikaniku. Well, I mean... I think you just started recording Pikaniku... Uh, the, like, the day after or something like that. We recorded for, like, almost... How many hours did we do? From noon to like forever. nine, yeah. Um, because yeah. in that session, we were talking about you getting a snowball, yeah. And okay, yeah. So, I don't think you had it for Pika Niku, okay. So, far from noise, I should have no, because far from noise, I was pretty quiet too. I don't know. Well, okay, so. Anything after uh, April 30th <laughs> will be done with the snowball. Okay, so I'll let you know how it is on my yeah. iPad then. Yeah. But yeah, uh, treat the Far From Noise as like a PowerPoint. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the audio is still really good. Um, like the story at least, but the just the video is driving me crazy. Like yeah. if it's not if it's not the audio messing up, it's the video messing up, and it's like I just want them to work together like a family. Uh, a chose a chosen family. Yeah, I was about to be like. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, actually, this is really funny. Uh, well, in a terrible way. So. At like the family dinner, my brother, my brother and I were talking about like how to like deal with. Oh my god, so unfair. Um, we were just talking, and then like at some point, I just got tired of the topic or something like that. So mm -hmm. I was like, "Hey, so why do you have like one one earring in one ear? Like, what's that about?" Because he had he had it in high school, and then mm -hmm. and then he hadn't had it like as an adult so i was like oh i wonder what's changed mm -hmm. um and he just like continued on and he's like <laughs> he's like you know what my favorite quote from ayn rat <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Um, he's like, you know what my fav- favorite quote from Ayn Rand's, and I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> and he's mm-hmm. like, Fountainhead, and I'm like, he's like, when uh, this guy is telling Rourke, he who he's like, messed up everything he's ever done, made it impossible to do his architecture dreams, and and he's like, so what do you think of me now? And Rourke is just like, I don't. He's like, I that's the lifestyle I live by. Like, he's like, I don't, he's like, I don't care what people say about me. I don't think about them. And I'm like, okay, I'm kind of okay. I don't like the fact, I don't like the fact that it came from an Ayn Rand book, but you know, even, even terrible people can fall into good lines and good, like, good concepts. Yeah. Um, Only some terrible people. Yeah. But like, the, the other day... We were talking about um, how, like, how everything is kind of nuanced and gray, and that people can't treat things like it's just solely black and white most of the time. Um, And the reason why is because, um, so, you know, we're very white. We're very, very white. Um, And, uh... Um. And uh, he had had a conversation recently with some indigenous folks and they had told him, well, you people. And my brother got upset about that because he's like, well, here, we're Slovenian. Um, We lived under 200 years or something like that of Ottoman oppression, oppressive rule. And then we got shoved into Yugoslavia. We never had any colonists. He's like, he didn't. He's like we he's like yeah so he's like i we we have some privilege because we're white but like when you say your people did this he's like well no my people actually didn't i just happened to benefit from other things other shitty white people did yeah um so we were talking about that and he was like so yeah like you could say in an ideal world x is this he's like like in an ideal world, everyone would be libertarian. I'm like, wait, what? No, 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 sir. No, sir. Uh, sir? Sir? And I'm just like, I love you, but no. No. I understand your sentiment. He's like, because he's like, in an ideal world, everyone would agree and be the one thing. And I'm like, okay, libertarian's not a great example, but yeah. Um, but I already knew that about him. Right. Um, <laughs> but I was just like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> no, that no, no. But like, if yeah. Every, if everybody was libertarian, nothing would ever get done. Well, the thing is about libertarians <laughs> is they never, they don't have like an actual agreed upon ideology exactly. Right. Like nothing every, would ever get done. Every libertarian I've talked to just doesn't actually have a consistent set of beliefs that are consistent with other libertarians, which, which is wasn't. which isn't like like any other political like belief that I know of. Right. Like if you ask a socialist, like what they what is their political stance. Most socialists will give you approximately the same answer, but maybe right. maybe different interpretations of how to get that. But I've yeah. never I've never heard a libertarian give an answer that's consistent with other libertarians. Right. So yeah. But anyways, I was just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, if we were all libertarians, nothing would ever get done. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh the earring was a really sweet thing though. The earring mm. um is actually his wedding his uh engagement ring from his uh fiance. Aww. Um because so he's part of Search and Rescue okay. and and he also does a lot of other like hand hands on work. Like he okay. he's always like fiddling with things technically so right. so she knows that he would always have to be taking his ring off 
or it would be getting or loosening, t- or it. loosening or- it losing it or it getting filthy that kind of thing mm-hmm. so yeah. so she instead like thought why don't we do an earring for you um mm-hmm. that that's something you can keep on <laughs> in, in everything you do yeah and um and he was down with it and i think it's really sweet that is really sweet yeah He can be an ass, but I like him. Most of the time. Right. Ah. Libertarians. I know. (laughs) Listen, (laughs) I know. I understand. That was my reaction, too. Uh. I am like, and this is why, like, I love you. But also, there's an entire video game series dedicated to why none of that works. Is that which one is that? Bioshock. Oh no! Well, Bioshock wasn't libertarian. Was, it was still about Ayn Rand. Is uh, Ayn Rand? Ayn, yeah. Ayn Rand. Yeah. And she is it Ayn Rand? Ayn Rand. Yeah. And uh, okay. she was she was an object uh, objective uh, objectivist because her philosophy was objectivism devil's advocate the movie yeah okay yeah Yeah. and um man so bioshock one was fantastic it like it really took her philosophy and showed you the absolute worst aspects of it it's like supposed to run under those i don't know man i really like (laughs) goblins um uh, so yeah, it, it really it really took that philosophy and like oops, turned it on its head and was like, okay, in an ideal world, that's you know her philosophy is this, but this is not ideal. This is what it would look like in more realistically when it devolves. Um, and what was great is that um, in Bioshock Infinite. They, they kind of turned that on their head where it took another kind of philosophical standing and belief like a religious belief and was like okay well here are the problems with that so like um Bioshock 1 and 2 are really meant to be like mirrors not 1 and 2 Bioshock 1 and Infinite are supposed to be like mirrors of them of each other okay I never played two, so that I don't know. I I liked two. I don't know if it gets m- as much into the philosophy of it. Yeah, it but was, there's yeah. something that it it really kind of opened something in my brain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at one point in time, when I was to be like, I'm going to be a blogger, and uh, yeah. that didn't pan out because writing is hard. Um. But, says the person doing, trying to do a short story a week. Anyway, um, Bioshock tends to go easy on its female villains. Well, that, in, that's, that's interesting because in one and two, sorry, one and in infinite, it doesn't really have a female villain per se. Right. Well, there's the, um, I wouldn't say that the leader of the Vox Populi is a villain so much as she's an antagonist. Yeah. Um, but in two, they have, like, they have the, uh, the, the main villain is a woman. Uh, I can't remember her name. She's a doctor of some kind. And her daughter, Eleanor, is, like, the big sister. Um, uh. Yeah, it. Oh, it's, she's so cool. But it gives you the option to be lenient after all of the shit that this woman did. Mm-hmm. It one and two don't give you that option with the other villains. Yeah. Well, it's actually really. In- mm. Oh yeah, because yeah, Atlas, you have to fight. Yeah. Um, for a minute, I was thinking of like 
um, the dude you kill with a golf club, but I'm like, oh yeah, well, you didn't have a choice there. That was like yeah. literally built into you. Would um, you kindly? Oh God, that that <laughs> that whole line. Um, yeah, yeah, it's interesting, um, especially since two Bioshock Two is the only one not written by the original creator. Yeah. He was um he 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 left after the first one, came back mm -hmm. for the uh for the third infinite. Mm -hmm. Um so like there is a divide, like there are some like I I have some friends who are like hardcore oops. Uh BioShock. What the Wow, okay. Uh I have totally missed that. I'm sorry. That's okay. I uh just sped across into the goblin. Um, um, you're just uh, goblins are just magnet to you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well then. Um. Yeah. I have like so I have a friend who's like hardcore Bioshock fan. Hates right. hates the second game, um, because uh, apparently it confuses a lot of the lore of the first game. Mm -hmm. And also doesn't have the same vibe and feel, which... It doesn't, yeah. Um, which, you know, like, if you liked Bioshock for, like, a very particular reason, then, yeah, I can see why they didn't like it. I uh, liked Bioshock because it was underwater. <laughs> I liked it because it shit on Ayn Rand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I, like, Bioshock is, like, the first game was actually incredible mm. as far as, like, the story went. Uh, and then the second one, we got the big sister, which mm -hmm. I'm, like, completely here for. But it falls under that uh, sequel trap, or, like, the trope of sequels to, like, you always have to have the girl version of something. Mm -hmm. And the girl version of the big daddy is the big sister, because you can't really say big mama. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can say Big Mama, but then it wouldn't be hot, you know. I mean, I mean, there are some people out there who want a sugar mama. Listen, yeah, like give me Big Mama, give me this big submarine woman that's gonna come fucking kill me with whale like, sounds. <laughs> with whale sounds, like I <laughs> am here for it. Where is my Big Mama? <laughs> But, like, we got Lady Demestru. <laughs> Why can't we not have Big Mama? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Honestly, that was the... I haven't played Resident Evil, but I watched Markiplier play it. I uh... watched Manga Minx play it. Honestly, everything outside of Lady Dimitrescu is kind of like, eh. Yeah. Like... The greatest part was her castle, and then everything after that was like, okay, we're right. done. It's like, well, like, we got, like, you got introduced, you you go into the castle, the vampires are having, like, some kind of weird-ass meeting, and uh, Lady Demetra, the best is, is there, and you just... <laughs> You're killing me, Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um... She's there, and then they're like, there's other characters in, and you're like, all of the, uh, like, all, all of the fan stuff, like, and all of that, n that y there's no, you don't know these people's name. And you don't, <laughs> how did you open a chest dead? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it opened just to spite you, you know? I worked like, really hard for it, okay, Taryn? Yeah. And, um... Like, no, literally nobody cares about any of the other... Uh, I, well, I will say this. I actually like the... The dude... The, the little brother... Who, uh, like, controls the lichen. Right. I like his personality. I like his dialogue. I still think his boss fight and his his like whole level is kind of terrible. Mm, yeah. 
Now, I, I'm going to be real. When I watch late Let's Plays, I'm not watching what's going on on the screen. I'm just listening to people tell me what's happening. Oh, yeah. I do I do that a lot, too. Which is what I'm kind of hoping that people do for with Far From Noise. They just listen to me tell a story. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. Like, I'm gonna watch to spite you. Yeah. <laughs> don't pay attention to the characters on the screen that are moving like slideshows <laughs> in a PowerPoint <laughs> presentation. <laughs> You're like, hi. I didn't actually play Farpoint so much as I made a a PowerPoint. Far from noise. Yeah. Far from noise, as so much as made a slideshow for you. Yeah. Okay, so here are the highlights of what happened during Far From Noise. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um... Uh, I don't really watch most of the time, to be honest. Yeah. It's something nice to listen to, and then I'm usually talking with friends. Right. Um, it's just yeah, kind of soothing. I just found a... a um, a group of people playing Stardew, mm -hmm. and it is so relaxing to hear them play Stardew. Ah, yeah, and they're playing like the expanded mod, which I like. I want to play so badly because like there's new romance options and Krobos. I mean, it's, it's not. Uh, I I know Krobos is there, and I th I don't know if it's a romance for sure, but I know. They wouldn't have changed the fact that he can move in with you. Well, before, it's just like, you're really good friends. Yeah. They were roommates. They were roommates. Stop running into bones, Vaughn. Apparently, I am just done for the day, I guess. Because I am <laughs> just... This is son of the death counter, for sure. Yeah. Also, it doesn't I mean, help that it's ice. Yeah, that... So, here's the thing. In about five minutes, mm. we'll be at the end of episode 20. Woo! So... Do you want to continue with that? I don't know. I don't know, man. It is fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Let, let's let's give it a minute. Okay. So let's think about this. You could always let the fans vote. How about this? If anyone ever, if anyone's watching Micromages and they get to this point. Or you're watching back after we've gained more followers. Right. If you guys want us to return to Micro Mages, we will do that. Otherwise, I think we could end it here. Right. Because it's mostly a, more of the same. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So, how's that? Yeah, and that, that gives us a good round number. Mm, My thing... 20. Uh, yeah, 20 is a good round number. Uh, this, the 20th episode will come out July 17th, Ooh. which is in the middle of July. I could always start rec uh, playing another game to record. Yeah. Well, the thing is, there are other games in the bundle to play. Yeah, exactly. We can, we can still yeah. continue to record. Yeah. So let me pull up my list. Oh, no, that's my Steam games, because I started making a tracker for my Steam games, because I have, like, 500 of those, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you want me to uh, end the recording here? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and then you and I will talk about stuff off-camera. Okay, bye! Thank you for joining us for the last episode of Micromages by Morphcat Games. Uh, well, the last episode for now... If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the new episode drops. Let's keep the comments chill so no hate or spoilers, as we're not above removing those comments and the people who make them. 
Uh, if you want us to continue playing Micro Mages, let us know down in the comments below. And we'll, uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.